I usually don't talk too much about newer albums because most of them don't really get my attention. And this is the same situation. Uh, I listened to the LL Cool J, The Force, the new album. Because it was dropped. Uh, it came out uh, last night, which is the 6th, September. And um, it's a mixed bag. It was produced by Q-Tip. Mm. And he turned down Dr. Dre. Mm. I think they could have done like a half and half, personally. I, some of it was okay. Some of it was kind of, I don't know, it was kind of dense. It didn't hit some of the things I like. Um, obviously... LL said that Eminem was a big inspiration for a certain way he was flowing. So I listened to the Murder Brown to that cut. It was I. Right. Standard bars by M, lines, you know, it was I. Right. Uh, didn't really do nothing for me. Didn't really feel the Rick Ross cut with Fat Joe. Wasn't really feeling that. I like the cuts that kind of hit me. Wasn't long enough. Was with Nas, of course, because Nas... You know, you want my honest opinion. Nas's game, uh, I like that cut they did together. I think Nas, uh, to me, if I was doing an all-time ranking, he's either right there or has surpassed that as far as because I mean, not that's one of the best cuts I've heard. I like the flow. I wasn't the beat was okay. The cut that got my attention was with Snoop, the Cypress. I like that cut. I like that cut. I thought that was cool. Um, you know, to standardize it, L, but there was some decent lyrical content. The problem is, is that he's been away from musicality for in a way that you watch all the CSI because right now he's more known for doing the TV show and the other things that you, you know, he had some cuts that were decent. It's uh, what I call it's a decent album, it's not great, it's not seeing his heyday, you know. Mama said, knock you up. Back then, we're going to talk about his peak and his prime. His best years was probably 85 to about, I'd say about 91, 92. If we're going to do that, you know, because he pretty much. And after that, he kept some what I call the R&B tag along, sing along songs. He pretty much did the heavy D thing. Him and Molly, Melly Mel back in the day, certain sort of stuff you know, that he did back in the day. So, you know, that's what his bread and butter was with the hooks and the sing-alongs and stuff like that. That's what was happening in the mid-90s, which I liked as far as singles go. Can't listen to all his rockets all the way through, but he is one of the most important MCs. I'll give him that for back in the day. He's in my top 10 ever rappers and his styling. This album is decent. But it's not a game changer, and it's not something that even if you could go to the store, I would tell you to buy it. I'd tell you to wait till you went to a used store. And I'm not that big on Q-Tips production. Now, some of it's all right. Some of it's all right. You know, I like that beat he had with Snoop. But actually, the Midnight Martyrs, if you go back, that's where Deep Cover, when Dre and Snoop, they got that from Q-Tips. So that's kind of ironic, because actually that worked. Now, I will tell you this. I'd like to see Q-Tip working with Snoop. That might be interesting. That might be something to collab on. But this one off, and then, like I said, in the, the the cut with Nas was too short. That was a that was a nice cut. It wasn't long enough, so it's spotty. But what do you expect? You know, again, I no rapper gonna come along that's fifty plus years old gonna drop a classic album. It's not gonna happen. They're going to have a banger or two. And the problem they're going to run into is it's going to be ageism because now give it to Kendrick Lamar at age 37, 36, 37 would not like us being the song of the summer. But do you think people are going to sit and bump a whole rocket by a cat almost turning 40? That's a rapper? No. It's not really going to happen. It's not going to be feasible. But you might get a joint or two that somebody will bop to. This is going to be cool for heads who bop to L back in the day to an extent. Because I'm going to tell you something. The cut with Snoop wouldn't have been out of place as a duet. And Dre had it gotten down during the Keep the Heads Ringing. So somewhere between 92 to 95, that would have been a bumper with L.O. and Snoop. Could have worked back in the day. Could have worked. The one with Nas, Nas's flow on this was just, he tore it up. In fact, L.L. was just almost like a guest on his own track. 
Because Nas ain't no joke when he goes in. So, anyway. When, like I said, I wasn't feeling no more with Eminem. It was all right. He was all right. It was pretty standardized. Some of the tracks on here were phoned in. So, you can kind of tell. But, anyway, let me know what you think about LL Cool J's The Force album. And how do you feel about rappers after 40, 50 years old still rapping? Can you buy them new? Do you care? Or do you want to go back to the old catalog? You let me know. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And please hit that membership. And please stay stay safe, stay blessed, stay woke, stay true, stay you, stay clear, stay clean. I'm out. Peace on time.